good evening and welcome back to another video. Today we're clearly in a different spot. I'm going to take you with me because I have been going through my pantry and trying to get rid of bad ingredient things as you may know. And one area that I have not tackled yet is my spice drawer. Uh, more in particular like my seasoning blends. Um, it's summer now, we can grill, I can marinate and do all these things. but. Um, a lot of the seasoning blends I have have bad things in it, maltodextrin, extra sugars that aren't needed. So today we're going to make a bunch of spice blends, which I'm very excited for. Our own custom blends. We're going to make taco and chili and ranch and all the good yummy things that we can grill with this summer. So right now I'm headed to the gym. Uh, but once we're done, I'm going to head to a local market, see if I can find I have a whole list of spices that... Um, I want to get plus use up like what I have that needs to be um, gone through because it's just been sitting in my drawer like my regular spices I'll, I'll use part of those also um, but yeah I'm gonna go to like a local market and we're gonna grab some spices hopefully not like in bulk crazily but like enough to make a good spice mixture um, so we're gonna grab what we need there and then we'll go home and make some spice blends it should be fun don't know how to drive, clearly. All right, but I'm headed to the gym. I will see you when we head to the store and I'll show you all the yummy stuff that they have and maybe we'll pick up some meat for dinner too. That's not a part of this, but I'm just thinking ahead of going to a grocery store. My favorite thing to do, especially on a Friday night. So let's hit the gym and then go shop. We are done at the gym. I am sore and sweaty, but we're gonna head into the fresh market and see what we can get. Okay, there's a whole wall of spices. They did not have everything. It is like a Hispanic grocery store, so uh, it makes sense why they didn't have some of the things. So I'm gonna quickly look um, on my phone once I'm done recording this to see. I still need dill and chive. Like, I've, I don't think I've ever seen those dried, but I guess they're a thing, and all spice. They had it there, but it was like $6. So I'm gonna see if I can find those three anywhere else. And I did good, I only, the only extra thing I bought was watermelon, uh, cause watermelon is still hella expensive right now. Like for a whole watermelon at Meijer, it was like $8. So I just bought like four cute little slices for like two bucks. I know it's not much of a better deal, but I don't need a whole watermelon to spend like $8 on right now. So just a couple slices when I get home. Um, okay, so I'm gonna quickly look to see if we can find where else we can get the rest of the spices we need. The last two are like dill, dill and chive are for the ranch seasoning, which I really wanna make because I really wanna make my own ranch. So I need to find those. Okay. Walmart and Jewel have both of those things, but I am the opposite way of those stores right now. Um, I'm way closer, <laughs> way closer to home. So we will pick this up tomorrow. We will run out in the morning, grab those things and make the spice mixes a tomorrow. With the magic of editing, it'll be a couple seconds for you. So I'm gonna go home and eat my watermelon. Look at the delicious watermelon. We're gonna eat some, right? All right, Chirpy, you want some? You love watermelon. Oh, good job. So it is the next day. I am at Walmart. We're gonna run in, grab the last a few things that we need for our spice ones. Maybe some more mason jars, because I can always use more jars, especially for canning this summer. Uh, so I'll pick up a couple extra of those, I think, to create our spice blends in. That'll hopefully fit in my drawer. I should have measured. Should have done that. That's okay. It'll be fine. Um, so I'll grab some of those and then we'll be back to the house to make our spice blends. Just a mini interruption during our spice video to show what I want for my birthday. I decided I want a bike for my birthday. So I found a helmet on clearance, which is good because I need one. But I think 
this is the bike I want to get. I sent it to my family already. It's a good deal. It's only 100 bucks, so let's see if they get it for me. Just something small. I don't need anything crazy. It's got some different speed settings and the handbrakes, and it's cute and purple, so we'll see. I think it's a good deal. This is going to be such a mishmash of a video, so I sent that bike to the fam. I'm like, I want this for my birthday. And of course, Jenna so lovingly was like, I'll get it for you. So she sent me the money. My mom's on her way because I don't think it's going to fit in my car. My mom has a slightly larger uh, SUV, kind of. So I bought my stuff that I was, I got the helmet and everything. I'm going to uh, drive to the other side where the bikes are at and we're going to get my bike today. So that's fun and something I did not expect. Uh, but thank you, Jenna. I don't, you probably won't watch this, but thanks. Uh, now I can go on bike rides during the summer. That'll be fun. I haven't had a bike in 20 years. I think I got a bike for my like 12th or 13th birthday. And that might have been the last bike I ever got. Where that bike is, I have no idea. Uh, so let's go to the other side of Walmart and wait for Judy and go get my purple bike. My 33rd birthday. Oh my God. 33 and what do I want for my birthday? A bike. Could be worse things in the world, I suppose. So, all right. Those okay, things. slight change of purchase plans. So I got on that bike unsuccessfully because I'm wearing a skirt, bad idea. Um, it's a little too short, even though it says it's for people of my height, um, which is fine. So there's another Walmart like 10 miles up the road um, that has the same bike in teal that's two inches taller for the same price. So I bought that online and we're gonna go pick it up later. So don't have, don't have the bike in hand right now, but I will in a couple hours. So I'll show you that when we go get it, but let's get home and make our spice blend. Okay, we are back and we are ready to make all of our spice mix. Cause first thing I wanted to go over are the things I'm getting rid of out of my spice pantry. So, okay, so these are the things I'm trying to replace. These are some examples of things that aren't the greatest. Um, so we are gonna make our own. So some examples of ingredients in here that I'm trying to avoid. Maltodextrin is the number one ingredient for the ranch powder. So not the greatest, regular sugar, um, and a bunch of things I can't pronounce. And then the taco seasoning, um, the same thing. There's dextrose, maltodextrin, wheat flour, for whatever reason. Um, and just like, I don't know, extractive paprika for color, diosodium, I don't know, things I can't pronounce. So we are going to get rid of these. Uh, again, I'm going to see if I can pass these off. Um, to people that might not be, have issues with those ingredients. Um, and then I'll show you everything I bought. Plus I'm going to pull out all like my normal spices that I want to go through also. Um, we're also going to make our own everything but the bagel seasoning. This one is fine and the ingredients in it are fine, but I don't like the ratio of things. So I'm going to use this as a base for one and add my own stuff to it. Um, Cause yeah, everything in it is fine. I just don't love the ratio. So we're gonna make some of that. And let me go over, you have my GoPro because I need my phone. So we're making taco, ranch, chili, a barbecue, an Italian. I feel like that's a good variety. And then obviously whatever I have extra will just go into storage. But for the most part, I'm grabbing a seasoning to put on something, and I think that's a good variety of things. So let me grab everything out, and we will get started. I'm not gonna give you exact, I will have exact recipes down below. I'm not gonna say everything in this video, um, just because it's a lot of annoying things, and I'm probably gonna double and triple some of these because I want them, uh, I don't wanna have to do this all the time, and the batches are pretty small, so I'll probably double and triple some of them, especially like the taco seasoning, I know I'm gonna go through, so. Um, but a single batch recipe will be down in the description, so let's get started, and we will montage, and if I need to talk, we'll chit chat. 
Okay, this is everything I bought. I know it looks like a lot, but we're gonna get a lot of good months of seasoning out of this. Uh, I spent about, I think it was like 30 bucks, uh, but we're gonna get a lot of seasonings for that. And I know, I know it's in it. I know it's all good for me. Um, it won't be heavily salted, so I'm not gonna have to worry about that. And it's not gonna have any of the ingredients I'm avoiding. So um, let me kind of break everything into batches and we'll get started probably with taco first and get the ball rolling. delicious ranch powder um, so for this one I did have to go out and buy something special this is just buttermilk uh, powder blend the only thing that's in here is sweet cream churned buttermilk sweet dairy whey and lactic acid so that's the base for our creamy tartness and then I think I'm just going to mix this, mix this with milk or yogurt, like plain non-fat Greek yogurt, um, to make ranch. But that'll be in a different video. But that is a delicious base of all lovely seasoning. So we will move on to the next one.
a much better color and ratio for everything but the bagel mix. Somehow I ended up with a more packed drawer than before, but let me show you because some of this is for canning in the summer, but I have all my rubs and mixes ready to go that are clean. I know it's in them. They're not salt heavy and we are good to go for lots of summer grilling. So let me show you. Okay, so this is what the drawer is looking like. A lot of the stuff up here is for pickling like peppercorn, celery seed, uh, whole, uh, coriander seeds, all that's for pickling for cucumbers in the summer. I really didn't have to buy these giant ones. The only one I really tapped into was the parsley and the garlic, but I will have chopped onion and oregano till uh, the cows come home, I guess. But that's all right. It's good for a very long time. And I have all of my mixes ready to go. So everything but the bagel, Greek, uh, I think this one is taco, ranch, and then I have barbecue, chili and italian so all good there these are what i'm going to be working out of and then this is all just extra and whatever i need so uh things i'm gonna get rid of and pass on taco seasoning ranch seasoning and then i just have extra parsley and basil i could not fit in there so i'll see if my mom wants those thank you so much for watching i hope this inspires you to check out your pantry Go through all your season mixes and see if there's anything that, well, one's expired. And two, you can maybe make a little bit more cleaner with little to no effort. That was so much fun. And now I have different flavor profiles for a lot of different seasoned meats this summer on the grill. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. All the recipes will be in the description. Now, mind you, I like double and tripled some of them. So if you only want to make a small bit of them, make one batch. And if you want to do like big mason and jars double or quadruple them so uh thanks for watching if you want real-time updates go ahead and follow me over on instagram at gina.vsg and i will see you in the next one bye and i did get my bike we ran earlier to it i'm not gonna record myself uh on it right now because i don't want to show my neighborhood <laughs> or the front of my house but there she is she's beautiful seats all adjusted we are good to go so when my mom and I decide to take a bike ride, I will definitely bring the GoPro and show you me on the bike because it's gonna be fun. But I did run, ride up and down the block for a couple of minutes uh, when I got it home just to make sure it was okay because it was like Walmart pickup. So they literally just came and threw it in the car. Uh, but yeah, there's my bike. You stayed all the way to the end. You got to see it, so thanks.